New at 9, a Tulsa mom is raising concerns about a mental health facility her daughter also goes to school at. Fox 23's Bailey Coyle spoke with the mom about what she says was the way her daughter was mistreated. I just feel that they were very neglectful to my child. That was Mike Lynn Vasquez, mother of a 10-year-old who attends Tulsa Positive Changes a behavioral health treatment center for kids to do school and therapy in the same place. Right after school started, Vasquez says an incident involving her daughter's protection bracelet, which is a religious item her whole family wears, caused the 10-year-old extreme distress. There was an incident that happened with my child that became, um, it escalated and my child was not offered any verbal de-escalation, any support from her therapist or the life skills teachers that are trained in this. The incident Vasquez is referring to happened on August 30th. She says an exception was made to allow her daughter to wear the piece of jewelry, which is normally not allowed in the program. Vasquez says multiple teachers reminded the 10 year old that if she messed with the bracelet, it would be removed, which was the agreement made between the school and the parents. After the conversation, she was taken away from her classroom by her therapist for being disrespectful. She was met with aggression and threatened to put in a therapeutic hold. Vasquez says the conversation between the therapist and her daughter left her daughter crying on the floor. Her therapist proceeded in looking at his phone and eating lunch and laughing while my child was on the ground in distress. And another teacher pulled off her badge and took her phone and wallet out and said she was ready for whatever. It was then that Vasquez claims they threatened to put her child in a therapeutic hold. She says her biggest concern is that no one from the school reached out to her about the incident. She says she reached out to the school but hasn't received a response. I just, I want to know what happened, what's going on. Vasquez says her daughter has not returned to positive changes since the incident. She says she wants to be able to trust the school before she returns. In Tulsa, covering news that matters, Bailey Coyle, Fox 23 News. And we reached out to positive changes on Friday. So far, we have not heard back. We will let you know when we do.